My name's John and this is... I'm Greg. And we are the guys behind Cold War year by year. And we were out running around in my old army Jeep today and happened to uh, decide to come by Fort Hood, which is, excuse me, what is it now? Cavazos. Fort Cavazos. Cavazos. Formerly... Cavazos. The, the post normally known as Fort Hood. And uh, we thought there would probably be some things worth looking at around here, and I think we found a few things. It's a pretty interesting place. It looks like everybody's gone. They're probably all over in Poland. Uh, but uh, we kind of want to take a, a second to, I guess in a way, introduce ourselves to our subscribers. Uh, by the way, thank you for subscribing. Um, and kind of give you an idea of who we are and why we're doing our YouTube channel, which as you probably know, is known uh, as uh, Cold War Year by Year. So why are we doing it, John? Well, uh, we noted that there was not a lot of content. You can find plenty of World War II content. You can find plenty of uh, war in Iraq and Afghanistan content. You can find uh, a lot of history content about the American Revolution or even European history and things. But there wasn't aside from a, a few great channels there wasn't a whole lot of uh, content that covered the period that Greg and I served in the army which was during the Cold War there there definitely uh, there's some really outstanding um, uh, history oriented channels that deal with Cold War content our idea we're not historians for one thing we're history buffs uh, we're both interested in the Cold War period we both served in the army uh, during that period. Our idea was to look at each individual year of the Cold War, uh, starting in 1945, which we consider the beginning of the Cold War, the close of World War II, uh, on through uh, 1990, when the walls came down, 1989, 1990. That's generally considered the end of the Cold War. But we wanted to take every year uh, individually and not do a deep dive on the events of the year, but to create more of a digest uh, of the significant Cold War related historical events of, of each year, Hope, hoping to give kind of a more of a flow of the story uh, of the Cold War, as opposed to the specific in the weeds details, which other channels do that much better than we ever could. But it's more to give you the storyline uh, of the Cold War. We hadn't really seen anything quite like that. We're learning uh, ourselves uh, about the flow of events from 1945 onward. We're, I guess we're up to like 1955 or 56 at this point. 55. 55. As uh, of this date. As of today. Um, though, uh, after we began this project, it, it kind of evolved. Part of our workflow was gathering the archival film footage of the historical events uh, from that particular year and, re and editing them into a sort of a concise uh, sort of format. Uh, but at some point, John had the great idea, hey, we've got all this archival footage, these old documentaries uh, that uh, were, were cool in and of themselves we felt needed to be sort of highlighted and unearthed. It's kind of like we're unearthing these old documents, uh, these old documentaries, drawing attention to this incredible old, beautiful historic footage uh, from the 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s eventually. We've created another element of our channel. Uh, rather than the year by year thing, we also have what we call From the Vault, which is the full length versions of these documentary uh, documentaries and other film content that we're uh, using in our chapters. So, um, so it's kind of multifaceted what we're doing now, right? Yep. Well, and uh, we'll be, we've already rolled out 
one other video related to uh, someone's experience. Well, it was your experience was uh, going back to the um, back to the uh, uh, East German border, or what used to be the East German border, uh, a couple of years ago, and uh, we're going to call that uh, Cold War reflections, personal stories, uh, which from, would be the, yeah, personal War. stories of folks who have interesting things to talk about and say, and uh, who may. Uh, maybe we can document some of this stuff before any of us get any older than we already I mean, are. We're not getting any younger. Right. Um, and uh, it's a lot of the people that experienced the Cold War era um, firsthand um, are starting to leave us. Uh, kind of like, you know, kind of like the World War II veterans. They're gone pretty much now. The, Viet the Korean veterans probably pretty much gone. Vietnam guys, they're getting fewer and fewer. Uh, so kind of the same thing is happening with the Cold War era uh, soldiers. Uh, and we feel it's important to document um, their experience. And it's, we think it's really interesting in and of itself. And there's probably a lot more of that coming. Uh, we have a lot of ideas of stories to tell some in more 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 like our own documentaries uh on specific subjects but also uh as we run across interesting folks with good stories uh we may just stop like this and say start asking them questions uh, but mainly the reason we're doing this video um is to thank the people who have subscribed to our channel um you hear it a lot if you're a user of youtube how important it is to have subscribers. We feel we've done pretty good, uh, and and we're very appreciative of the how many? It's over a thousand now. We're at uh, just under thirteen hundred. So. I mean, we think that's pretty pretty great, um, and so we appreciate it. If you've subscribed, we really thank you very much. And if you haven't, please do so. Thanks. Because. Nobody's been that interested in anything we've done up until yeah. now. Well, let me think. Maybe uh, my kids. I'm, well, you're lucky. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks, guys. We appreciate it.